Welcome. So the news never end, and today or now we're talking about uh, F Sharp. Uh, so F Sharp 5 has been released uh, for .NET 5 Preview 4, I guess, and it contain contains some interesting improvements if you ever use F Sharp. I'm not sure who uses F Sharp anymore, but if you are an F Sharp developer, now you have the ability to use uh, C Sharp interfaces in your F Sharp program. If you ever used F Sharp, anyway. And yes, yesterday I forgot to mention that uh, there is now a Windows Forms designer for .NET Core, which wasn't uh, previously previously there. And I actually try wanted to try uh, Windows Forms in .NET Core, but I couldn't because there wasn't any uh, designer. But now there you have it. If you want to use uh, Windows Forms with .NET Core, now we have the option to use the, de the designer. And lastly, uh, there is there has been a, a new Windows subsystem li for Linux update, and let's take a look at what it has. So first of all, they say that when you when you want to install WSL or Windows subsystem for Linux, it will automatically install Windows subsystem for Linux too, and it will be uh, it will support GPU compute workflows so WSL will support GPU workflows because uh, if you have watched the previous news the, the DirectX has yeah I'm sorry I'm, my English is very bad anyway DirectX announced the, their support for Windows subsystem for Linux so now you can use some GPU compute stuff and my favorite thing is adding Linux GUI support. So very soon we will be able to do something like this. Have like the file manager of our system be uh, like the Linux file system manager, which will be in very interesting actually. Imagine running like Linux inside of WSL, like the whole Linux system. It would be very interesting actually. And that's pretty much it, I guess. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.